So far in these Ogun videos, we have looked at sound generation with the timber section, add and body and shaping the sound with the unison, filter and EQ sections. In these next few videos, we'll begin our look at the envelope editor. At first look, this editor can be daunting. However, if you have been using ImageLine products for some time, then you should feel right at home, as this editor can be found in several ImageLine products. The only difference is the target or targets of the editor. So let's start this look at the editor by learning how to assign a target to the envelope. To select which envelope target you are editing, you must first select it from the target menu. Upon clicking the drop down menu, you'll see that there are a large number of aspects that the instrument can automate with these envelopes. You can apply envelopes to standard aspects such as volume and pitch. But in addition, you can also apply envelopes to some of the more specific parameters of the timber section. But the selections do not stop there. Once you have picked from the list the area you want to target, the next step is to pick which part you want to control. For example, I can select volume from the target menu and then from the articulator part, I can select envelope. This would apply a standard amplitude envelope to the volume of the instrument. But what if you wanted to create an envelope that could apply a different level to each key on your controller keyboard? We briefly looked at this in an earlier video, but for sake of demonstration, I'm going to apply an envelope that maps different volumes to different keys. In this example, I want all the lower end and higher end notes to have a lower volume than the keys in the mid-range. To do this, I can right click in the middle of the envelope and add a point. I then place an edit point at the highest point in the middle of the keyboard. Then I will click and drag the front edit point down to the lowest point at the lowest end of the keyboard. I will then do the same for the end point, clicking and dragging it down to the lowest point at the higher end of the keyboard. Now when I play the higher end or lower end keys, the volume is reduced. I can also adjust the tension handles to make the curve a little steeper and more dramatic. Now this was a basic demonstration of keyboard mapping articulation, but it gives you the bare bone basics when it comes to working with the keyboard mapping. You can find keyboard mapping in a few other areas as well, such as pitch, which would allow you to apply different pitch bends depending on where you play on the keyboard. Some of the other areas we can articulate are, as mentioned, the envelope, which controls the level of the note being played over time. LFO, which allows you to create an envelope to control the LFO levels over time. Keyboard mapping, which we just looked at. Velocity, which allows you to use the curve to change on how the targeted area of the instrument is affected by different velocities when playing from a MIDI controller keyboard. Modulation X and Y mapping allows you to create different modulation X or Y values for each key on your MIDI keyboard. Now not all these articulate parts are available for each target. Some targets will only contain articulate parts that pertain to that target, such as most of the timber targets, where they do not have an amplitude envelope articulation part. So in this video, we started our look at the envelope editor. More specifically, we looked at how to target areas of the instrument with the curve as well as selecting the different articulation parts. In the next video, we'll continue our in-depth look at the envelope editor and how to create, delete and work with envelope editing points.